Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting tutorial that I was planning to show you guys. But before going on, please don't forget to subscribe down there and like the videos, share the videos and press the bell icon. So welcome back uh, with another exciting tutorial and today we are going to make an uh, animation that I did in my final project and so I was like interested in to show you guys that this how it was done and okay so let's just get started now when you open your blender software uh, right now uh, its version is 2.882 a right I guess yes so if you have downloaded it uh, so let's just get started okay I uh, uh, the file I had open it's it's nothing in that only I had the cell phone in here this cell phone I had modeled uh, when I was doing my final project so I made this whole cell phone you can get a free cell phone from any website or you can download it from uh, from any from any site you want to or you can pay or uh, you can get free as well but sometimes uh, the model you get free uh, makes some problems uh, when you are editing your 3d file they, they are uh, some errors you get in that okay so just leave that okay right now I have my cell phone here okay and I have my screen here this screen is here okay so you can see that this is this is extra screen that I had placed in here because I want my uh, animation in that okay you will edit this and from the back okay when you have your cell phone here now this is a separate uh, screen okay now what am I going to do is uh, okay, just don't worry about that I'm just seeing if my material is visible right now because if it, it, it isn't I have to set all the things right back again I'm going to show you how we, how you can make a new material in blender okay now I have my cell phone I, uh, I have my camera first I need uh, a background okay because without the background your animation doesn't look appropriate or good we'll go to mesh wait, wait. let me just close this I'm gonna rename this okay so just we'll leave it right now um, I'm going to make a new plane okay and I'm gonna make this large go to this click here and extract it this much okay now go to edit mode select this line okay okay wait uh, camera is in this position now. so we'll select this line and press E on your keyboard to extract it and if you press shift it will go in in, in a direction okay but that's it I'm just gonna make this straight I'm gonna extract it and now back to this I'm gonna select this mode I'm gonna select this line and press ctrl B and shift and scroll from my mouse on my keyboard okay you can see that it, it, it does extract okay now we're gonna no not this much the amount of scrolling you do you'll get more lines and you'll get more smoothness okay okay now done I need this now okay but if you want to make this smoother you will go on in this panel add a modifier subdivision okay subdivision modifier and I'm just gonna make this bit smooth view viewport okay now I got my background because we we don't need to uh, make a box or something like I'm just gonna make this a shorter for your to understand 
and uh, if you want to apply it, apply it. It doesn't matter right now. But uh, okay, now what am I going to do is I'm going to create a material for this. Okay, here we go over here and create new material. And uh, let's just make this color a bit more black. Black. Okay, in the setting, we're gonna take opac as black mode, opac shade mode, opac. Uh, alpha clip. By the way, if you want to see that how your uh, how your product or how uh, how your thing is looking, if you want to see, you're gonna do this. It's gonna go in the just in case if I'm just showing you that's what you can do. I'm going to model, right? Okay, I'm going to press Z on my keyboard and I'm going to go on this tab, rendering. So this is basically rendering. You are seeing black because there is no light in the animation. Okay, light matters. Whatever you make, yeah, without light, it's nothing. Okay, and layout. Now, I'm just going to take this. Right now, I'm not going to uh, change anything. BDF, uh, just get glossy yes. Press on in the material that I had created. Okay, now why don't I just rename this floor? Floor shade, right? Okay, you got this. And now we, what we are going to do is I'm going to take the cell phone. I'm going to rotate this. gonna rotate this like this just to make you understand that how you can do this right I've got my screen here okay now if you are I'm just gonna make this two screens just that you can see that uh, final rendering thing okay material preview for instance that is how my cell phone looks that I had made for my thesis my final university project so uh, okay so we don't have any material here right so let's just uh, okay I have material here right for you I I downloaded some wallpapers uh, but if you want to use UI images uh, user interface images uh, or if you want to show someone or you can you can do a display of that uh, by using this material, you, you, by using this mockup, okay. So I had uh, downloaded these wallpapers. I'm going to use. This will be my main screen, and these four will be uh, the screens that will animate when my uh, when the cell phone will uh, animate will be animated, right? Okay. Now uh, I'm going to go in this shade shading part. Okay. Now I had made this. Uh, it it's nothing. Okay. You're gonna. Okay. Now. I'm gonna do, go this. I'm just seeing right now, but if uh, the material doesn't doesn't fit, you need to open the Photoshop and you need to edit that. You need to edit your UV in that. So I'm just gonna go on this. Now we can see that you are having trouble in that. Okay, now I'm gonna open this and I'm gonna just select this. And I'm gonna think. Okay. I think my UV is not unwrapped. I I I have to unwrap it first, right? Mm, okay, just, just don't worry about that. In in edit mode, what am I going to do? Is just extract it. Edit mode. These lines are already. I'm gonna go this. Okay. You on your keyboard and unwrap this. Okay. You're gonna select your lines. I'm gonna go this, and you're gonna mark scene. Mark. Okay. Mark scenes. This mark scenes. Okay. And then you, you will unwrap your uh, UV. UV is basically uh, a line of a structure of line in which you set your material. Okay. Now unwrap this. 
Why I'm not? Shift as select all. Um, mark C. Unwrap. Okay. Okay, I've got my UV here. Sorry, I was just going and shading thing. Well, I'm gonna upload my image from here. Okay. Now, this is a bit disturbing. Okay. Now, set this okay I'm gonna set my UV you can see that I have got my image here okay. don't worry about that we will just make it smoother you can see that I got my material in here now I'm just gonna make this push down Let's just make some lights and then I will show you that how we can further do this in a, in a good way, right? So we need a light and light and area or point. Uh, let's use point. Okay. So we've got our light point. Then watch, I'm gonna just uh, 500. Okay, for if you want to if you want to see that how your light looks, you want to go in, press Z on your keyboard and you, you're gonna go on render mode. You can see that we created our first light. Okay, and I'm gonna place this here. This is very very low. You know, a cinematic look. If you want to give you, you need to make more lights and more in in more creative way. I'm just gonna. Rotate this a bit. Okay. You've got a light, and now, okay, okay, okay. Um, no, I need to do this. Okay, we've got a light, and I'm gonna make this. Um, control shift control V duplicate okay gonna go here I'm gonna change this to thousand watt and I'll just I'll just okay we have a bit a bit more light okay I don't need the shadow and also in this I don't need the okay, so this I think shadow I don't need the shadow okay and what am I going to do is I'm gonna, uh, I need a bit more colorful right so I'm gonna make this copy go here and I'm gonna change this color this is sun okay. I'm gonna change this to blue and I'm gonna bring this to down to green let's see what, what we get going uh, in, in, in another direction right okay this is very much this spot and what about area okay I need 600 so don't worry about that okay now Eight hundred, right? And now, so okay, so we got this. Uh, this whole process takes a lot of time because you have to see that uh, how your final product uh, is looks after because once you 
you render your you render your animation you don't have time because it takes a lot of time to render if you are already user of blender then you know many things about that that it takes a lot of time to, to render a single frame or, or single animation it depends on how uh, how long animation you have made so guys uh, I just get back to you in another video so stay tuned okay